The crypto markets are pumping, Bitcoin is up, and Ethereum finally hit $2,000. But why is this happening? Well, it looks like BlackRock has got their grubby little hands in Ethereum. The iShares Ethereum Trust has just been registered by BlackRock and Delaware. And of course, we all know BlackRock is greedy and was going to get into Ethereum. The entity BlackRock Advisor submitted the paperwork and the filing is shown on the website for the Delaware Department of the State Division of Corporations. The registered agent on the filing is Daniel Swinger, a person with that name is on LinkedIn as a managing director of BlackRock. And the BlackRock iShares Bitcoin Trust was registered in a similar manner a week before they filed the ETF application with the SEC. So we probably are going to be getting an Ethereum ETF as well. Also too, it is sounding like we could potentially get all 12 Bitcoin spot ETFs approved this year in a very short window. Let me explain. So the brief window opened up November 11th for the SEC to potentially approve all 12 Bitcoin spot ETF applicants. It's also possible that they could approve multiple between now and November 17th, but they will require all funds to begin trading on the same day. Me personally, I don't think we're gonna see a Bitcoin spot ETF get approved in 2023 because we have so much red tape, our public servants are very incompetent. However, I'm happy to be wrong. But at the same time, it might make sense. It's right before the holidays. And as far as the Ethereum trust and us getting an Ethereum ETF, I'm hoping that we do. Because again, you guys, I'm very bullish on Ethereum long-term. I understand they've got some drama behind the scenes, but at the same time, I'm here to grift as ethically as possible and grift alongside with the elites within the constraints of the law. So this is bullish news. I'm super excited and I hope the crypto markets continue to pump. However, I do think it's a good idea to consider making a trading and investing plan and understand that we could have some pullbacks. And if you're somebody who has been kind of on the sidelines, especially with Ethereum, one of the things I like to tell people is, don't worry, there's always going to be another bus. Have a trading and investing plan. And if you want a dollar cost average, you want to set limit orders, whatever that is, do what works for you. Do not chase other people and copy what they're doing on social media because you could potentially get wrecked. And as always, if you're somebody who's got that FOMO right now, um, you might want to consider doing maybe five or 10% of your trading stack and market buying just to quench that FOMO. That's a tip and trick that I like to do. Again, it's not financial advice, but let's hope Ethereum continues to stay over $2,000 and we hit $10,000 Ethereum in the crazy, crazy bull run. And I think we're in the very beginning stages of the bull run. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, set alerts. Windy L is out.